Hi, I'm Jessica Mullen, and this is Meditation 101, the remix. I don't usually make personal videos like this because I feel naked. But I've gotten a few questions lately that I wanted to answer in a manner that wasn't so boring like my last video. So boring. One person asked me to make a Meditation 101 video, so I would like to address that first. I started meditating when I was maybe 15 because I wanted to get what I wanted, and I was very confident and cocky. I'd been raised in the Catholic Church. And I wasn't buying it. So I explored the most rebellious occult literature I could. But to be honest, I didn't really do it to it to rebel. When I was like twelve I checked out a book from the library on ESP and we were destined for each other. Me and weirdness, me and the occult, me and being psychic or being a witch. That was who I was, and I found those books, and I was like, hell yeah, I get it. I know what it's like to know things. Anyway, I get to Catholic High School. I know that my spiritual side can help me get what I want. I have that knowing. So I explore the occult. And I learned how to meditate. I'm pretty sure the first time I meditated, it was a guided, me guided visual meditation where they like walk you through this scenario. So you imagine yourself going down into this underground temple and in the middle of this underground temple is a pool of water. And above the pool of water is open sky, like there's a hole in this temple. So this meditation was just guiding you down to this pool of water, and then maybe you did something down there, I don't remember. Anyway, that was probably my first meditation, and I was like, cool, I can imagine things, I get it. Um, meditation is just imagining things. So then, if you want to know, the whole reason I started meditating was because I wanted to get what I wanted, which was, I thought <laughs> that I had this <laughs> vaginal deformity, <laughs> turns out. Okay, so I thought I had this <laughs> situation. <laughs> with my nether regions when I was like 15. I wasn't going to go to a doctor or ask anyone about it. I was just going to wait to die. <laughs> so I learned to meditate because I thought it would get me what I wanted, which was to not have some serious personal vaginal problem to deal with. I meditated long and hard on that for probably a couple years. I was worried about it for years. Until I was 18, 15 to 18, <laughs> ended up at the gynecologist. I'm like, you might, you might want to check out what's down there. And she's like, you're perfectly normal. <laughs> I just thought I looked funny. <laughs> so that's why I started meditating, because I thought I was sick, <laughs> but I wasn't. It was an illusion, and that's what sickness is. It's an illusion. Meditation helps you see past the illusion, that there's more to you than the illusion. There's more to you than right now. There's more to you, well, there's more to you than this body. Feel it right now. Feel your inner body. It's a black hole. Doesn't it feel good? 
to touch a black hole. <laughs> Thought so. The next question. Okay. So what was my spiritual journey? What authors or ideas have helped me? Well, after I started meditating with that visualization, then I read another book that was like a magic with a K book that taught, taught me about chakras and how to do a meditation where you light up each chakra, I don't know, do some stuff with your chakras. So I would do this routine where I lit up my chakras and then I was like, dear universe, thanks for all this stuff, but can you help me with this? Cause I really need this. Just please help me do this. Whatever it is, make my vagina. Okay. Please make my vagina. Okay. Please. And then there's this, you do something else with your chakras, you like clean them out, I don't know, and then release the energy that you have gathered. And it wasn't that I believed in the wickest, I mean, it was, it was magic, it was, it was connecting with a deeper reality, and the occult was the only way to talk about it before all of this law of attraction which I really should have known about earlier but I guess it wasn't a match which leads me to the law of attraction okay one thing you have to know is that hallucinogens can help you but you don't have to rely on drugs to have some epiphany peak experience that changes your life tangent drugs have helped me on my spiritual journey enough said I found the law of attraction after devoting a lot of time and energy to my health like I was running a marathon and I was practically raw vegan and I found my friend recommended the secret to me but it was already after I had decided to become more positive. I was a, I was mean before. Mean and unconscious. But then I was like, people get cancer because they're mean. I like had this feeling that if you harbored hate, sh shit you hate's gonna boil up in your body. And that basically led me to the idea that what you focus on expands the law of attraction. Check it out. But the law of attraction opens up a whole world of more questions, which are better answered for me with more like ancient spiritual wisdom, like Taoism, Buddhism, Things like that. All the ancient traditions have answers. And any book you pick up can tell you an answer that you're looking for right now. Eckhart Tolle taught me all about trusting what's happening right now. And Deepak Chopra taught me about synchronicity. Abraham taught me when you ask it is given. All of these spiritual, modern philosophy, new age texts. They're all amazing and you should read them. It's where I get all of my ideas. I'm learning as much as I can, as fast as I can. And I'm trying to keep it all just for fun because it's all just for fun. Cheers to it just being for fun. <clears throat> Thank you for watching my meditations. Thank you for watching me be a real person. We're all in this together. I'm so glad we're all on the same page, on the same level. I'm so glad we all get it together. Today we had a friend over, and she's like, hey, I just got into Law of Attraction, and we're like, cool, welcome. 
But at the same time, I'm like, this is scary. This is scary. This is scary. Other people are getting it. What does this mean? What does this mean when everyone gets it? So I just said, I love myself. I love myself. I love myself over and over while I encountered this scary um, spiritual evolutionary moment. I highly recommend it when things start getting too deep. Just say, I love myself, I love myself, I love myself. Because really, if you zoomed out and watched the story, it'd be a pretty fucking good story. Have a wonderful day or night. I love you.